Hello there, everybody. It's Rook Legend here, and we are back playing Fire Emblem Three Houses. We're getting to the Battle of Eagle and Lion, Chapter Seven, White Clouds. Grander Field is in the Empire. It's actually part of my family's territory, House Burgley's. Ooh. It is the largest field in all of Bodland. The grain it produces sustains the whole Empire. Wait. I sure hope we don't destroy all that grain. It is considered the most suitable place for a large-scale battle. Professor, if it were up to you, how would you approach this battle? Hmm. Ah. Am I pretending that I'm a professor who doesn't know about this fight, or am I pretending that I'm a professor who does know about this fight? I would actually say, if, if this is all about points, then yeah, we gotta get them head on. Because Clever Schemes rely on too many, too many opportunities for us to lose points, so. That sounds like a certain someone we both know. But as you wish, we'll use whatever strategy you think is best. If the Black Eagle House bands together, we won't lose. Our strength is superior. So if we do lose, it will be on your shoulders, Professor. Thanks, Hubert. If you are not confident you can do this, just sit back and leave it to me. <laughs> the most you will do is make things worse. You'll just get in Lady Edelgard's way. Are you two about to fight? Oh, <laughs> count me in! Wait, no, no, I think we all need to calm down. Wow, Caspar is the voice of reason here. I, I need my sweat rag. I need to just pat, pat myself down a little bit. We have no lack of opponents. I am ready to go hunting for our enemies. I would hope so, my precious assassin. Hunting isn't exactly... Well, I guess they're pretty similar, actually. I'm just gonna hide in the fort and cheer everyone on. There, um, is a fort, right? Sure, but it's deep in enemy territory. How kind of you to offer to cut through for us. Oh, Linhart, stop being cheeky. What? No, that's not what I meant! Good work, Bernie. This will be your first battle, won't it, Flane? You don't seem nervous at all. I love bloodshed. <laughs> I shall give it my all. Our battle will begin shortly. The flag of the Black Eagles will soon grace Grander Field. I didn't like that look she gave me. Unless you're staring directly at me, the player. And judging me. Don't judge me. I'm still torn on the weapon durability system here, as I am whenever I see a game have it. I like what it's used for, but I don't entirely agree with it, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, if I keep bashing my my things against other things, it's gonna break. Oh lord, I hate really... Ooh, we got ash on the... From the police stuff. We don't have flyers to worry about. Oh, we do have flyers on that side, though. So Marcy's nearby. He is a lord. A spear lord. Of course, the do being the knight and that the sorceress. Sylvain, the. Well, the short spear user. Felix is actually a mercenary. Interesting. Laurens is still on horseback. Hilda is still the brigand. Yeah, everyone's pretty much playing their parts. It's pretty much the same. So, first things first is I actually kind of want to rush into the fight. But I can't do that. So, we're actually going to send... No, no. We need her over here. Taking out the flyers alongside... Unavailable. Damn it. So her and Bernie are going to be taking this side, but can I actually make Bernie dismount now? Nah, I don't think so, but regardless, she and Bernie are going to be taking out the flyers. Um, I don't want Dorothea going up there. I want Sylvain going up there, and then... Mm, no, Sylvain should leave the charge over here. I'll have Dorothea backing me up, and Hubert will be backing up Sylvain. Blaine's on kind of healer duty. Caspar, myself, and Edelgar will probably charge through here, and then do like I did last time. I might have Petra try to sneak around and get the treasure, but that's a very big if. 
But hey, thanks to all that prep work, if you saw the previous episode, we're pretty much ready for this. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. Oh, there's a bird. You all should know. I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It is time. Forward, now! For honor! I like that scene. The ballista in the center of the battlefield. The house that secures it will have a clear advantage. All right, first things I will first. I get the victory. I want Petra sinking in here and equipped with an iron bow. And I want oh, Bernie no. as her support. Dismounted, and she has a bow as well. Stay I'm focused. gonna be taking the front right now. How much damage is Ash gonna do to Dorothea? A whopping 12. I'm not a big fan That's of that. That's my cue. I will. Edelgard, however, can tank that. Put me in there. Yeah, Caspar. Uh, perhaps I should make Caspar for a flank. Now nah, he's gonna be charging up the middle. Speaking of charging up I the middle, I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Ooh. All right. Uh, better equip the hand axe for this one. As you wish. As you were getting ready to pull up. Let us away. <laughs> Battle. Y'all are mean. <laughs> Those two. It still reached him! Nani? Uh. Shut. I should have warned you. No hesitation. Just not necessary. Each battle, a chance to grow. Oh lord, that's right, I forgot. I'm gonna hit level 30 Such before I well. even freaking. Ugh. Black Eagles and Blue Lions are fighting. Me? Yeah, he's close talking about being snippy. Ooh. Oh, well, nope. Actually, that was probably pretty safe there, I guess. Ah, they both got their... Wait, what? Ugh. Kind of are ruining my little plan. Wait, why is Ferdinand? Oh, that's right. Okay. I'm just gonna bop you on the head twice. That cool? Yeah. It's cool. Hit there. That is that. I think Edelgard advance. Put it right behind me. Caspar start moving up. I actually don't mind if Dorothea moves up. Yeah, she does have Linhart right behind her. 
Actually, speaking of uh, potential problems. Can't really make Bernadette move as far, unfortunately. Is Flame close enough to land a Nosferatu or a Javelin? Okay, Javelin would do Diddly and Squat. I do want Flame to get the experience, though, so we are going to make her jump in with a nice Nosferatu. Alright, alright, decent. Next up, Hubert with the supports. It's a standard by ass, which should be fine. Dumb. For Lady Edelgard. Oh, and he's maxed out on Dark Mage. Very Another nice. Skill. Ah, yeah. Seal speed. Normal Iron Axe should not handle that. Uh oh. Oh, he hit. Good the job. mark of nobility. All right, so advancing forward. Uh, he did actually land the hit. I'm a little bit sad about that. Oh, she's coming towards me. Yeah, they're coming at me. Each battle, a chance to grow. <laughs> Come, Ingrid. Show me what your skills have developed into. Ah, the bait. I will not be stopping. Damn, she was already mid pose after the second shot. Let's see. War feeds my body and mind. A stronghold for me to seize. Splendid. There goes Lawrence acting on his own. Guess we've got no choice but to capture the Central Hill and cover it. Hmm. Everyone that's right around here is actually pretty dangerous. Oh, going after Edelgard. I've seen more suicidal. I've not seen something more suicidal in a long time. Now you know your limits. I wonder if I can bait them into hitting Bernie instead. No, so back on the mount. Who are you aiming for and how much? Me for 15, me for 15, me for 16. Sorry I have to do this to you, Ash, but uh I mean hell, it could be worse, right? It could not be me who hurt you. At least I hurt you with blood. That is that. Oh, I didn't need that. Could I actually pass that on to Caspar? And he can throw me that axe. A little scared to move Dorothea up because these guys are really strong. Oh, jeez. Okay, unless they say out of range, they're fine. Oh, right, Night Kneeler. I'll take my chance with the steel. It's rather fitting, isn't it? Alright, let's 
see how this goes. Yeah, I figured that one out. Ooh, but I got some help back. Should I have helped back? This is good. We got a few knockouts already. And that's before they met in the middle there. Back in Bernie. Because Bernie can't fight back. Ooh. Oh, but Bernie has mastered Cavalier. Cavalier. Really? Going after Cavalier? I'm really glad that missed. What a jump. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Alright, this isn't like Claude will really move from that spot. Ooh, speaking of people, my, my, my kids are taking damage. It's a little, it's a little risky here. Ronnie's about to just take down the knight. Yeah, those debuffs are actually really bad with him right now. Uh, he's born hits on each other. Alright, Dorothy is gonna be coming up here soon. Hilda's her target. Alright, Bernie, we're gonna. I'd rather retreat. I know, I know. Got this. Can I go now? Yeah, you're pretty much done here. You did you did good. Assassin, she's just moving in quietly. Speaking of putting the hurt in people. Ooh! Elf back too. Very nice. Gonna have Caspar loop around as well. She's gonna try to break through here. I think he can. Yeah, so you can just whoop all the way here to the chest. You're not going to have uh, Edelgard go with him. We're going to save Claude for last. So unfortunately, Claude's defense are just a touch too difficult for us right now. Can he turn around here? Yeah, he can hit them both. He has to hit! And it connects! Nice! Both of them are unable to move, I believe. We'll leave them right there. If in danger, we'll start dragging more people towards him. Oh, going right for the healer. You leave Marianne alone! She doesn't deserve this. Yeah, that's right, Raphael. You can here. You giant monster man dressed you just giant beast. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah. Good dodge. Sure. Didn't dodge that. Good hustle. I'm actually a little surprised he didn't try to heal like this. Yeah. Like Scythia. Ooh, Lonnie coming at me. Let's see it. Show me what my dad's training did. <laughs> Not enough, apparently. That's right, it's sassy professor time. Okay. Lane's gonna go right here and nom nom her HP. I am spent. Let's see if your spentness got you. Ooh! I am maturing at a rapid pace. Alright, and Hubert's gonna take you out, and we're actually gonna make these the training lands. Good practice. How humiliating. Right, now I can start commanding him to move around a bit better. Ugh, I kinda actually want him to get healing though. Can you reach more psychic from there? Yes you can. Perfect. 
Thank you. I think he still has one use of disturbance left. So it might be good to have him start advancing over here. Actually, I'll, I'll even make him dismount so he's a better target. Hand axe. Everyone's moving perfectly. He's gonna get his attention. Hasn't drawn anyone close to him yet. Hasn't drawn anyone close to her. I'm actually gonna... Is it wise for me to take him out? Ugh, they're in a bad formation for me, actually. Okay, she's gonna attack him. She's gonna attack me. He's gonna attack me. She's gonna attack me. The smartest thing to do is make it harder for them to go after my boy. And it's not go off the course while he's there. As expected. Start moving Dorothea up as well. Bernie's gonna keep moving up too. We're gonna have a pop of Bolnery. Let's try our Ooh! They gave Felix a battalion. But he missed. Okay, this is good. Now he's in range. Alright, that's why I helped you heal up. Okay. Alright. I missed. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't expecting all my hits to land. Droopy told when, when using an axe, got it. It just comes with the territory. She did take the case. Probably Ferdinand's resistances are weaker than mine. But Ferdinand lands the hit, this was and we are good here. Good job, bro. The noble standard. Very nice level of charisma, defense, and resistance. Just like that, like half a year. Oh, she's going after me. Okay, I have a little idea though. Be mindful. I'm still alright. It's time. I'm sorry to do this to you, Marianne, but now he can't move. Uh I kinda want this XP to either go to Linhart or Dorothea. Probably just Dorothea. Let's see. Let's move right there. Move right there. I keep, oh, she has shove. I could have actually just accidentally knocked Casper. Just put Casper in a very bad position. It's okay. dangerous. So first things first. Try to get the hit with the bow. Yep. Right in the leg. Okay. I think he's in range. No, that's way too close to Sylvain. That's perfect. No chance of 16. Flame Spirit, protect me. Perfect, perfect. Alright. We're gonna have Ferdinand advance a little bit. Right about here. Hubert's gonna move up. Flame's gonna move up. Actually, Flame should move this way. I'm gonna have Lumen Heart start moving up here too, because. Gotcha! Ah, oh, the disturbance. I'm sorry, I don't like seeing that when it's the enemy. Okay, so Ivona Reed. And Caspar is in the clear. So, Linhart's gonna come right here and give him a pop pop with a. Nosferatu, maybe? Uh, no, Linhart gets healing experience, which he's about to get some of. Dorothea will come in with a fire. Thunder, Thor, and Sad. Whoop! 
Got him. All right. I've got many skills, you know. Big man down. Okay. You should heal Ferdinand. Back to the fray. Because he's going to be one of our ones to start taking down the old group over there. Edelgard stay put. Lane, continue moving up very carefully. Oh, he can hit her with the short spear. Let's try the steel sword. And now she comes in for the kill. I was about to say, oh no, but what if she misses? 100% hit. Let's just say I've seen some things. This episode is going to be a touch longer than most. And that is just mostly for the pure fact that there is going to be a little after stuff, and I am being very methodical about how I approach this. Can you... Okay. She'll get the dude's attention. And a net. I think we won. Unless he does 15. Because I keep forgetting the dude is a monster truck. That's cute that he has to let the shield, though. I think it's adorable. Oh. My thanks. That's right. Now. Oh, jeez. If Root flames on top of that, please miss. Okay, miss. Perfect. Okay. This is an act. Okay, plan. Do good stuff is now in effect. Stay focused. So I'm going to take out you with a double pop pop. Ah, you caught me. But I got you. You didn't give it your own. Ferdinand's gonna run in and steal acts. Not enough. Just enough. Hit on the net here. Hey, make the orange hair fight the orange hair. You should be honored. Move her up to bop the dude with the mace. She healed up nicely from that, though. Your defeat was inevitable. The way they use the mace is silly to me. Wait. Restore better here? Oh, he was the debuff, yes. Okay. Having our assassin moving in. Ooh, Dimitri's gonna come to meet her? Alright. Let's equip the, the steel bow then. We want her to do big damage. Caspar, get a reward! A killer lance! Now I feel a little dumb. Okay, I only want one of you to come attack her. But it's gonna be fine, because I'm having Flame move right here. He's getting ready. Speaking of people getting ready... Ooh, okay, okay, calm down there, Claude, calm down! Blood out for blood. Oh, he's actually attacking, attacking. Ooh, he's using a spear. Love it, boy. Marcy's probably gonna heal him, though. Yeah, now oh, that he's a quite healthy. But how much of a threat is Marcy? Ooh, dodge a 62, I like that. I might leave these three for Dorothy. Oh, no, you, you came way too close. 
Also, is that really a proper Arthur apparel, ma'am? Okay. He's gonna run around and bop you on the head. Yeah, bop. As expected. I really like the look of the main character with the with an axe. I'm just gonna be honest. Such power dwells. Okay, and here's a nice eleven sword, maybe. What's doing more damage? That's where we go for double fire. It is. You were wide open. Okay, so you're gonna come at her. Oh no. No, Marcy's gonna. Uh. I'll let them fight it out. Quick bonery up to start getting Casper moving to knock out Marcy because I feel like Casper doing it is a little less me. Quick psychic up for Bernie. Thanks so much. I feel like I'm putting her at a needed risk there, so she can wait a turn to go get her her good stuff. So, it is time to cross blades. I never imagined such a day would come to pass. If the Empire and the Kingdom go to war, we'll be able to fight as much as we please. I'm sorry, but that is not something to joke about. The thought of fighting you is troubling at best. In that case, I wonder when you'll be able to stomach facing me in battle. Do you need a few moments? I just noticed that's its spear. Not short spear. Oh, that comes. I'm a little jealous, because that looks actually cool. Stop Thanks. interfering, Marcy! Another boat to the sky. Then they. Alright. Free heal uh, free heals courtesy of Flint. I don't know why that was so difficult. Oh, thank you. Nice big old 14 there too. Italian level up is always nice. Run in there and double fireball her to the mouth. I won't go down so easily. Very nice. Teach your crowd. Uh, nope. Yes, maybe. Better. Damn! So she dodged two out of four hits. It's a little disappointing. But, unfortunately... Oh, Miracle Seizure! What? I'm lucky she had the second hit. I should just kind of kill her Axum. Very nice. Very nice. I must get stronger. I suppose my training wasn't enough. Blue Lions have no choice but to retreat. Okay, I'm actually pretty glad that we were able to get pretty much all of them. Uh, let's equip Death Team. Hubert should be able to handle this piece of cake. No time like the present. Jesus! Am I gonna have to... Still unstoppable. 
Okay. Let's try that again. Because someone... Someone Stay decided focused. to use their good old-fashioned... Pain in the neck ability. As you wish. Must have seen the frickin' three year and got nervous. Yeah, 12's much more manageable. Especially with these guys nearby. This is a great chance for me to find out if the sword of the creator really is all it's cracked up to be. On that note, you'd better not surrender too quickly. I'm not a fan of you, Claw. <sighs> just the fact that you managed to hit that actually upsets me just a little bit. Uh, I think Hubert can't really come in for the assist or the kill. Actually, he can go in for the kill. And him. Thank you. This strength will serve Lady Edelgard well. I hate to say it, but it seems we're at a stalemate. Looks like the Golden Deer won't be winning this round. That is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are... Blue Lion! Wait, what? The Black Eagles! Thank you for your hard work, everyone. I dare say that prize is as good as ours. Of course! I knocked out every named character here. I think. 11 turns, not bad. And I was still MVP. I did smack around a lot of people. Hooray, everyone is motivated. I'm motivated from that. Yippee, skippy. Okay. My thank you so much. Edelgard, Professor, that was a spectacular battle. You both fought exceptionally well. Thank you, Dimitri. Complete and utter defeat. I would hate to make an enemy of you two. No need to get carried away with praise. I know you both feel we won by a paper-thin margin. And I won't deny it. If we were to fight again, there's no telling who would prevail. What do you think, Professor? <laughs> they were nothing. Um, I'm actually gonna say that Golden Deer was probably the bigger threat here. I think it's more to the fact that uh, blue lions were very... I, I don't know, I guess they were counting on Ash to weaken us all before it, they got to us, which is always a problem with, uh, again, in Blue Lion, they were off, the the Black Eagle held the uh, position on top of the mount, and now they did. So Golden Deer, again, just seemed like the stronger house. <laughs> I'm honored, and I'll level with you. I think that margin is at least as wide as two sheets of paper. I mean that. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. Agreed. I would hate to know a future in which I'm forced to cross swords with you. True. Although the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was originally named after a war between the Empire and the Kingdom. But that's all in the past. I'm sure even the name will one day fade from the pages of history. Um... Let's do our best to get along. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. It would be a fine opportunity to get to know each other better. Count me in. So be it. Let's plan to meet up on the night we return. Is that okay with you, Professor? I'm looking forward to it. Seeing such a big smile on your face is a rare gift. It makes me feel like I can maybe relax a little too. Aww. All right. So after this next cutscene, because we all know there's one coming up right after. It's finally over. There are way too many strangers at that feast. Put your chin high, Bernie. It was a chance for you to have growth. Everyone was acting so friendly. It was overwhelming. Aww. Linhart, I wasn't done talking to you. 
If those Alliance guys came at it from here, and those Kingdom guys came from there... I know, I know. We'd have been able to take them out all at once. I heard you. I'm going to bed now. Did anyone get the feeling that there were already couples forming? That's not really fair, is it? <laughs> I wanted to sneak off with someone too. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping for some tea after our meal anyway. Would you care to join me? I suppose I can settle for you just this one, Spurdy. Oh, I love that. Until today, I thought it would fall to me to command and guide our ranks all by myself. But with you leading us, I've gotten to experience what it's like to fight alongside everyone. And I've realized how happy it makes me, fighting under your command. The Emperor doesn't take orders from anyone. It's their duty to stand alone and lead the entire Empire. But maybe it's better to have someone to rely on so that you can support and guide each other through the darkness. Am I at someone? I may be heir to the Imperial Throne, but first and foremost, I'm your grateful student. Oh. That will never change, even when I fulfill my destiny and become the Emperor. I told you long ago that I wished to enlist you in the service of the Empire. Well, I take it back. Now, I wish only for your continued guidance during my eventual reign. Don't just hide away in the corner, Professor. You're the reason we're celebrating. It's because of you that I've had the courage to leave my room for a bit each day. I'm... I'm so grateful, Professor! Oh, almost <laughs> breaking my heart. Stop laughing at me, Jamer! He mocks me. He does the memes in person. We're all just discussing how well you led us. Remarkable! Your guidance is without parallel, Professor. <laughs> I have had practicing of that phrase. Oh, <laughs> my heart! Your training's been top notch, really. <laughs> Whatever would we do without you? I shudder to think what you would do without me. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. I feel the same. You are something special, my teacher. Hopefully I don't die terribly in tragedy. Wait, where's Hubert? Hubert. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. Zenith. Stop! In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. I'll accept all and any weapons. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. Also money. So, you've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. So this, I'm trying to accept the good deeds I did. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Ramire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Ramire Village? If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. Zombie Plague, got it. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. Zombie knights, got it. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. Aw, oh, thanks, Rhea. Ooh, Blessed Lance. Wait, just the Blessed Lance? I got the Blue Lion playthrough, honey! That's lame. That's so lame. Part one. White clouds. Red wolf moon. I hate this. The flame in the darkness. I hate this part of the cutscene the most. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike. And an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. 
The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. You mean the war? Because those things don't look like normal wolves. They look evil. That's where the bunnies were hiding. I mean, besides the fact that they're wolves. They were evil wolves. Everyone knows bunnies are more afraid of evil wolves than normal wolves. I might just be tired. Probably tired. But it makes sense. If you if you think about it enough. Oh! Damn it! Let me go! That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. Zombie plague. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. Ugh. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything. After you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Vermeer Village. After all, I owe you my life, if you'd like. I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Professor! A bit of a tease, are we? A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. Well, how about you stop talking to me and let me go do my dang job, Dad? That was harsh. I'm sorry. Hey, what's wrong? If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Hmm. Oh, okay. We're at the instruct part, so I can actually end it here. You know, and then hopefully... Nothing will pass it. Alright, so I want to thank you for watching if you hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. I much appreciate you if you do. And to this video, I just want to say, laters.